Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew from beautiful Costa Rica. <clears throat> and this is going to be the second part in, the, uh, in my mini-series. This topic is going to be called The Day After. And remember, uh, this is about the narcissist and about divorcing the narcissist and about all things narcissism. My real experiences as they're happening and uh, just what I'm going through and, and how I'm processing it. Remember guys, this is just a mini series. Um, I'll, I'm gonna get back to the normal videos pretty soon. Um, but I just, I need to document this for myself and to help others out also. So as we know, yesterday uh, I did go meet the lawyers and I met uh, the ex and we, it was very unusual to say the least. The um, experience is, is not, um, it was numbing, let's put it that way. And I was thinking that, you know, there, there are certain moments in time of everyone's life that you remember certain things. Like for me, I remember, honestly, I remember meeting my ex and I remember the wedding day perfectly. And now I'm gonna remember yesterday for the, for the rest of my life. Because you see, the person I met yesterday was ice cold, sneering, almost laughing, uh, distant, not the person that I fell in love with, not the person that I had met, definitely not the person that I know. It, it's remarkable how these, these people, these narcissists, um, at least in the romantic relationship, they change. They literally change to become unrecognizable. And that's what I experienced. Uh, when, when we went in there, and when, I'm not gonna go through all the details, actually I don't wanna do that. Cause, but the point being, it was, it was, it was eye-opening to me, to say the least. And um, things should be, should be better going forward because um, I don't believe I ever have to see her again in my life, which is a good thing. Um, the kids, I'm still working on that. And God bless you guys. I love you kids. I really hope you find these videos someday and reach out and talk to me because I love you more than anything in the world. Getting back on track with the, with the divorce, it was strange. It's like you spent six years of your life, actually seven years before we were married, together and sharing everything and insights and all these things that I made the mistake of believing that, that she was into. Of course she wasn't because she was just mirroring me. But you want to believe the dream, and, and I did up until eight months ago. I believe we were in this together. Clearly we're not. Clearly she's a narcissist and you know, like the thing that, that I really, that resonates with me, there are many things, but a couple things right now I wanna mention. One is like I'm shooting this video right now, again at the Rancho, thinking about my next steps forward, the closure um, from the relationship and all these things. And I can promise you, the narcissist is not thinking that. They are 100% having their sights set on the next target or victim or innocent person, empath. And you may say, how do you know that, Andrew? I'll tell you, I know it. <laughs> Trust me. The, there was no cordiality yesterday. There was no pleasantries. There was nothing. I'm a complete stranger to her right now, and I will be forever. Sorry. And that's a good thing for me to protect me. But there was no decency, and that just clearly tells me she's got her fangs either into somebody else right now or very soon it will be, they will be. And I would love to be able to tell that person, heads up, watch out. I can't though, it's not the right thing to do. You need to back off and live your own life and, and let the chips fall where they may. Just only you can do is, only thing I can do is hope that it doesn't happen to another person, but it will. Because I was the second marriage and I'm, I would bet a Coca-Cola right now that there are at least two more marriages in, in my ex-narcissist life. It's just the way it is. Enough about um, that. Uh, specifically but the whole point of this video is to let you know that like I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm working and I'm ruminating a little bit yeah um, last night what I did is I, I went to bed uh, and after processing as much of this information as I could um, and it, it didn't sting me as much as I thought it would but I wasn't jumping up and down like wow that's the that's great No, it was kind of a numbing feeling and I wasn't you know kind of like I am right now uh, I'm still processing everything what I did do though, uh, is I went through a bunch of pictures that we have, I have, sorry, and I deleted a whole bunch. I still have to delete so many more. 
um, but what I, there are a lot of pictures that I have still of the family, especially the kids, and uh, what I'm going to do, to be fair, and I'm, like I said, I'm documenting this for everybody, for you, me, the whole world. Uh, I'm going to send those pictures to somebody, not the narc, uh, but someone else, so the kids can at least look back on those pictures and photos at a later date. Uh, then I'll delete everything. Um, as far as the immediate family, sorry, as far as the extended family, um, I didn't block them, but I don't talk to them, so pretty soon I'll do that. I guess what I'm saying is it's going in steps, it's going in phases. Like, I just don't want to just, do, like, just like how I've been doing it over the last eight months, removing things slowly, doing the right things to protect me, and that's what I'll be doing too. So photographs are the next thing for me. And then finally, uh, yeah, I think there are just a couple small things left in, in this house that I have to send in an Uber to get to the, the narcissist and then that's it. Then, then that's officially closure, goodbye. Getting back to the uh, signing of the divorce papers, like I said, it wasn't the person I knew, it wasn't the person I fell in love with. And I, I have to be fair, guys, it, it, it kind of gave me a sense of satisfaction because the colder she was, and she was cold, and it's good, the, the stronger I became because it just, it, it, it confirmed, it validated everything I've been thinking and reading and processing and anticipating. So they really are two different people. And by the way, um, when you really see who they are, like really, not you think you see who they are, but when you really see who they are, like I did yesterday and I did last week, it's so liberating. But it's not like, like I made a video last week and I, I was super excited and super happy. And then, you know, you go up and down, all around, in and out. Like, it's not just like because you find it liberating, that's how you feel every single day. No, that's not how you feel every day. You have good days, bad days, and now what I'm realizing is you have good hours, bad hours. It, de it depends. So this divorce was a milestone for me. Like I said, getting married was a milestone. Now the divorce is a milestone. Very soon I expect to be able to, to move full forward, full ahead, and work on myself even more than I have for the last eight months. And guys, trust me, I've worked on myself every single day, so many hours. I continue to do it and I will do it for the rest of my life because when I'm strong, I can help other people. It's like that adage we mentioned, when you're on an airplane, if the airplane is, is going down, and hopefully it doesn't, but if it is, you have to put your oxygen mask on first before you can help others. That's where I am and that's what I'll always be doing. Um, so I wanna let you know that, that this experience is completely unlike anything I've gone through and, and you guys hopefully you won't go through it, uh, but I'm sure that many of you have or many of you will. And it's just, like right now I'm shooting this video and I'm thinking to myself as I'm doing this, I'm being transparent, authentic, honest, and, and sharing my views and my thoughts. And I know that the narcissist, because I'm thinking about this right now, I know the narcissist, I don't cross their, her mind or anything, anything to do with the relationship because to the narcissist, that, that book is closed. That, that book was closed eight months ago. Now, every narcissist is a little bit different how they do things and Hoover and all that kind of stuff. This narcissist, believe me, it, the chapter's closed for her. And I can tell just by the way she was behaving that she's locked in on somebody else, which is, like we talked about, that's the way it goes. But for me, I still, I still need to, to process things because I'm an empath and things take longer because when you're an empath, Many people believe that we are, we're, we're weak and we're not that strong. We, we're not capable of, of uh, like we're always giving. So we, we must be the weaker between uh, the narcissist or the empath. That's not the case. We're actually stronger. We are so much stronger because we're not codependent. The narcissist is codependent. And the reason I'm saying that is because the narcissist needs empaths or need, the narcissist needs other people to validate them, give them supply and to, uh, to keep them going. They need people to control. It's like their oxygen. Us, we empaths, or let's say more healthy people, we don't need that. We can move forward on our own and, and we can grow and thrive and become better versions of ourselves every single day, which is what I'm doing. So the narcissist, again, the, what they're gonna be doing is just continuing to become more and more, um, they're gonna be more and more manipula manipulating 
and destructive and taking and taking and taking and it, it's it's I, I can't emphasize it guys like seeing the person you're with when the good times are happening forget the love bomb just good times those highs can be so high and you're like wow this is just the best thing in the world and then like we talk about on this channel when the lows are low you're like you're demoralized and you're like what is this did I do something wrong all these things that we talk about but when when the divorce papers happen and, and you actually get the closure and there's no more for them at least there's no more game to be played and they know that you know because believe me she knows that I know um, that she's a narcissist by the way they, they have nothing to hide anymore they have they can just be themselves which is a lifeless blood-sucking parasite a person with zero remorse zero apologies zero empathy zero love which is a huge one they just go about their lives looking for the next victim it's almost as if to me what it reminded me of last night when I signed these papers was that the narcissist was like okay let's just get this over with because I have so many other victims to be stalking and to be finding and I have so many other people on this planet that I can just destroy their lives that's what it reminded me of and you may say well how do you know that Andrew what are you talking about it's just the feeling I got like like you have this intuition this sense of, of people you know and after seven years being with the narcissist and, and just watching the actions and, and paying attention no somebody out there in this little town where I live believe me someone's gonna be the next victim and God bless you whoever you are I hope it's okay so this is the day after um, just want to share this with you um, I'm, I'm definitely better than I was yesterday and um, I'm continuing to move forward and that's my plan so like I say I'll probably shoot I don't know a couple more of these videos about this mini series and then I'm gonna get back to back to work as normal but guys thank you very much for the support thank you for being there for all the well wishing last night was a little difficult uh, but today's a new day and I love you all so from beautiful Costa Rica I've got to change the angle on this from beautiful Costa Rica it's Andrew God bless you I'll talk to you soon remember comment like subscribe share all the good stuff let's keep this content rolling um, I'm here to help you guys out and um, like I said very soon I'm gonna be doing coaching um, private one-on-one -on -one coaching I'm, I'm beginning that program but it's, it's not not it won't be for a couple months but I'm going to be doing it so uh, I love you guys I'll talk to you soon and thank you for everything the day after here we go to new beginnings I love you guys bye